Okay, gang, my trip has been made. My entire trip has been made. Okay, gang, there's the uh, late 1800s property I got. A small part of the house is the original house and the chimney, and then the rest was added on in the 50s, but this is original property from the mid-1800s. Hey, gang, Rob here. This is my fourth or fifth dig on this uh, late 1800s farmhouse property that I just secured the permission for. And uh, we got our first coin, and unfortunately, I already saw the back, and it's a memorial. And that was like four inches down. So who knows how deep the Wheaties or other good stuff will be. All right, well, let me find this since I just dropped it and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, gang, since the penny, I've gotten all metal nails or hunks of metal, but this looks interesting. I haven't taken it out yet. I don't know what that is. Oh, it looks modern. All right, stand by. Okay, gang, on the shallowest plug I've dug so far, it literally said it was two inches down. I got a bouncy uh, penny dime signal, and very, very shallow, we have just been rewarded with our first wheat penny in the state of Missouri. Well, that just makes my day, guys. Let me put my glasses on. These things are coming out really nice, and we'll see what date this is. All right. Okay, gang, we just hit it with some water. Let me get in the light here, and we got ourselves a 1942 in really really nice shape that's going to clean up nice when i get the rest of the dirt off of it all right guys our first old coin in missouri I'm, I'm a happy guy after everything i've been through hey gang here's a second good find i got a penny dime signal and guys here is a little metal toy wagon wheel exactly it looks exactly like the one me and alex found at the 1925 house in our little town there i'm going to clean this up this is going to look nice but this has got to be a pretty old relic guys all righty your crash really discombobulates your life. There's my rental car. I'm going to show you how strewn about my trunk looks because I've been trying to find a freaking toothbrush because I know I brought several. And it took me 10 minutes, guys, but I finally found water in a toothbrush because I have my third good find right there. I'm walking to it now. We just got our second weedy. I haven't looked at it yet to see the date, but I'm pretty sure it's a weedy. I saw a Lincoln on the front. And I don't see a memorial on the back. <clears throat> there it is. It's already starting to dry out. There's Lincoln on the front. Yeah, it says one cent. All right, let us clean it up. Stand by. All right, gang, this penny really fooled me. As I started cleaning the back, it felt really smooth. But now that I look at it, it's probably got pretty good weak stalks, but it felt really smooth as I was wiping it down with water, and I thought it was going to be really old. But it's a 56D. So not as old as we want. All right, we haven't done any of that front yard yet. We're staying over here. I thought I'd save the best part for last, but we've gotten two Wheaties and a wagon wheel from him. It goes seven and a half acres straight back. They used to have 15 on that side, but they sold that seven and a half to another family. Um, so I only got permission to do from the gravel road to this side. All right, second Wheatie. Okay, guys, I got a real strong 42, 44 reading here, quarter dollar, half dollar. But I also had a big iron grunt. I've already pulled two nails out of this thing. And guys, I think this is just going to be an iron plate. I don't think it's going to be a buckle. It's too square, but it's got it's got three hooks on it. So we're going to clean this up. I don't want to get excited yet. Okay, we're not going to get this clean in the field with a toothbrush and a, some bottle of water. I have to take that home and clean that up extensively. All right, it looks like it's just going to be an iron buckle or some type of iron plate. I don't see any writing on it. All right. Alrighty folks, two digs after that uh, iron plate or whatever the heck it is. Got excited for a second on an 1820, thought I had me some coin, but it looks like a really old shotgun stamp head. So we'll clean that up and see what that says back at the house. Alright. Okay gang, I'm now in the front yard right in front of the house. He says that's the old section of the house. And guys, I got a coin signal here, but I just dug out what looks to be an old, old piece of pottery, which I will be turning over to Alex. She loves this stuff. Very cool, guys, an old piece of pottery. 
All right, well, let's go find the metal signal that's still down there. All right. Okay, gang. I know I've tore up this front yard here, all the dark areas, or holes I've dug and covered up because I couldn't find my signal. And I finally found it, guys. I had kicked it out and kept, uh, kept kicking it around. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's a weedy. Okay, there's a Lincoln on the front. Don't be a memorial after all that work. Nope, it's a weedy. Let me clean it up. Okay, gang, my trip has been made. My entire trip has been made. Okay, not only do I have an old weedy here, guys, that's completely green. Oh, let's get in the sun. Okay, look at that nice green patina. Somebody drilled two tiny holes into it to probably sew this into their clothing or something, but it's got two drilled holes. I've never had one drilled. And folks, if you can see that, I don't know if you can, that says 1910. Nine 1910, a second year weedy, my new oldest weedy. A hold 1910 weedy, a double hold 1910 weedy in the country in rural Missouri. My day has been made. Alrighty, let's see what more we can find out of this front yard. Hey gang, here's a quick recap for that uh, late 1800s house I did yesterday. Um, just all the typical trash, nails, that plastic ball thing, the big three pieces of iron. I still don't know what this is. I've scrubbed it with a wire brush and I still don't know. Uh, if anybody knows, please let me know. This big huge hunk of lead that's got a hole through the middle of it. You can see where I hit it with my shovel, but a nice solid hunk of lead. I don't know if that's part of a old metal toy or car and uh, I don't know what that is I don't know what these two things are that looks modern and then I think this is an old square nail I think two uh, memorial pennies I think a 69 and a 70 my old shotgun head stamp cleaned up looks pretty good and I don't think this is a wagon wheel I actually think this is from an old train because it's got the outer edge like that would roll on the train track. Um, a piece of uh, porcelain might be like a sugar bowl or uh, a creamer jar. So pretty cool looking. And then the three Wheaties, I got them wet so you could probably see them a little better. The 42, the 56D, and the 1910 with the two little teeny drilled holes in it. So those are the... Uh, Six good finds right there. Alrighty, folks. Thanks for watching. Hey, gang. I am in a park a few miles from the house I just detected. And they have buffalo here. I have a live buffalo nickel in front of me. Look at him. Wow. And there's a baby over there. Oh, there's a whole herd here. Oh, there's a whole herd out there. Hi, big guy. Well, this is more cool than the long hair steer we saw going up to our trip last summer. Look at that. Wow. Very cool, guys. Hi, bud. How are you? I know. Hi. I'm not allowed to feed you. That's what the sign says. Sorry, buddy. I don't have anything to feed you. I'm in another pasture. Here is the herd of elk. And I'll give you which guess which one's the uh, bull elk. Look at that rack of horns on him. Holy smokes. Wow. He's just way cool. Okay. Doesn't have a care in the world. Man, he's huge too. All right. 